it's Daisy and I am back for today's video which is part two of our Sailor King of Pen feature series. The first video we gave sort of an introduction and explained Sailor King of Pen and today's video is going to be Sailor King of Pen nib and line comparison. So if any of you don't know what Sailor King of Pen is, uh, we will put a little link up to the Sailor King of Pen video um, which you should check out. I do explain the history of Sailor King of Pen and sort of give an overview of all of the different models and what makes Sailor King of Pen so special. Today we are going to be examining Sailor's King of Pen 21 karat, um, very large nib and doing a nib and line comparison and a little like nib study on um, what makes this nib different from the rest of Sailor's nibs. So generally speaking, Sailor makes three different gold nibs. They also make Naginata nibs as well, but those are kind of specialties, so I'm not going to be including them in this video. So Sailor's gold nibs are their 14 karat gold nib found on their Pro Gear Slim and 1911 S models. And Sailor also makes 21 karat nibs found on their Pro Gear and 1911 L models. And today's video is going to be looking at the extra large 21 karat nibs found on the Sailor King of Pen models, which only come in two nib sizes, medium and broad, generally, and sometimes there's Naginata as well. But for the most part, you'll find Sailor King of Pen in medium and broad, so definitely the thicker nib sizes out of the whole range of Sailor nib sizes, if you're wondering. I have some of the pens in front of me on this tray here, gotta be very gentle with them. We have two of the Pro Gear models, and then these two on the right are the King of Pen models. This one with the rounded tops is the 1911 King of Pen, and this one with the flat tops is the Pro Gear King of Pen. These are the two shapes that you'll be able to get King of Pen in, is the rounded 1911 or the flat Pro Gear uh, King of Pen. And one of them is medium nib, and one of them is broad nib for today's comparison. Um, and for today's nib and line comparison, we'll be using our nib log, which we released earlier this year. It's just a little template. It's downloadable um, in A5 size, and this kind of allows you to see the line width that we are talking about. Today, I'm going to be comparing the King of Pen 21 karat nib with the Pro Gear and 1911 21 karat nib because those are, um, I feel like those are the comparisons that people want to see and the logical comparisons. If you're thinking about a King of Pen, you might be comparing it to the only other 21 karat nib available out there, which is the one found on either the 1911 or the Pro Gear. I'm going to write through our nib log using Pro Gear medium and Pro Gear broad nib sizes. These are the smaller 21 karat nib. So here under the camera are the two nib sizes that we're going to be comparing today in both medium and broad. This top nib is the Pro Gear nib or the 1911, the smaller 21 karat nib. And then this one on the bottom here is the, um, is the King of Pen largest 21 karat nib that Sailor has to offer. So we'll be comparing these different 21 karat nibs today. And I'll start by just writing with the Pro Gear, the smaller 21 karat nib, using our nib log just to see if there are um, just to just to narrow down the actual line widths of the Pro Gear 21 karat.
Okay, so we just did our nib logs for the Sailor Pro Gear 21, the smaller 21 karat gold nib in medium and broad that Sailor has to offer. They're going from 0.4 millimeter to 0.6 millimeter for the smaller 21 karat nib. This is not the King of Pen 21 karat nib just yet. Um, and this is considered to be already really a soft nib due to the high, the purity of the gold. It's 21 karat gold as opposed to 14 karat gold and 18 karat gold, which a lot of other pen manufacturers make nibs available in 14 karat and 18 karat, but really no one else does 21. It's interesting that this is already considered a quite a soft and juicy and wet nib um, and how it will hold up to the Sailor King of Pen nib. As you can see, here the line width is definitely very different and just the writing experience of both of them is really beautiful and they're both really just like soft smooth nibs so now we'll go ahead and go do the sailor king of pen on the nib log and just see kind of how they measure up to the smaller 21 karat nib i do generally like to post my pens but with the king of pen it's just not doable um, it's just too big and it becomes quite uncomfortable to hold because it feels like it's weighted towards the back as you can see a lot of people do post and posting just means putting the cap on the back like that um, but for this one i'm going to leave the cap just on the side over here because it's too heavy and it, it would be uncomfortable for me to write with personally. Okay. Okay, and just first impressions like really quickly, I am noticing that this is actually, due to the size, it's one and a half times larger than the smaller 21 karat nib that we were just doing and um, we were just doing a writing sample for. Due to the size, it really is like a significantly softer nib to the point that I feel like I have to sort of hold back on my pressure a little bit. And I don't write very hard, but um, this is one where if you do apply a little bit of pressure, it really does like express in the tines widening out a little bit. And if you don't like that, like if you don't like a nib that's too soft, that's too responsive to your pressure, then this one might be something to watch out for. But if you do like that, which a lot of people do because they like seeing the expressiveness in the writing, they like seeing the line variation variation in the writing and they like seeing sort of um, pops of ink color where you're pressing down a little bit more in your writing naturally, this might be a really nice pen.
I do always like to test these like diagonal strokes that you see me doing here. And the reason, the reason that I do like to test those diagonal strokes is because I feel like personally, from my personal experience, that's where a lot of fountain pens feel a little bit scratchy is um, most fountain pens will feel really nice going down. But as we all know, <laughs> people write from different angles and when you're writing cursive or anything like some people write in all um, uppercase um, if you're writing like that a lot of your strokes actually go up on the page so especially on a diagonal that's where a lot of the scratchiness comes out in a pen so i do like to kind of tease that out as i'm doing these line comparisons and writing samples to see how consistent the line is going up now for the wetness scale Yeah, um, and this is, you can see it's uh, it's got some drag over here, but we are not seeing like a crazy wet nib like I would expect in some other fountain pens that I've tried, like some Pilot, like the coarse nib. I remember on the Pilot nib, it's just like out of control with wetness. So this is like still, functional, I feel like, you know, if you actually want to use a pen and not have to wait like days for it to dry, it's a really smooth pen. It is, I would say, wetter than average, but it is um, still a pen that will dry in, in like a couple of minutes and it won't just continue to be wet on the page for a really long time. Um, I'm gonna give this one a 0.5, which is actually a little bit wider than the uh, Pro Gear, the, the smaller 21 karat nib. 0.5. So for softness testing, I like to test on three degrees. I've, I'm testing on three degrees of pressure. Um, the first being like no pressure at all. The second being a little bit of pressure applied and the third being like more pressure applied and I wouldn't want to go beyond that more pressure without doing some possible damage to the nib that like you might not be able to bring the tines back you might just loosen them after after like really writing like that so this is no pressure and no pressure is the line width analysis is like about 0.5 and with just some pressure like this which I think some of you out there might just write like that, like might write with some pressure and this would kind of be what you would expect if you do write with a little bit more pressure when you're writing. Um, not like er, like not like you're like scratching the page or anything, but definitely just a little more pressure than, than the lightest touch. And then this is with more pressure, which you can see the lines are widening up there. And... Okay, so this King of Pen has um, very soft nib, um, bouncy, and very responsive to any pressure greater than the lightest touch. That's my notes on this medium nib, um, Pro Gear 21 karat nib, is that it is a really nice, beautiful nib that is, here is a side-by-side -side of the smaller 21 karat nib and the larger 21 karat nib here. And you can see there's a little bit of a line width difference in, in the 0.4 to 0.5 and maybe even visually as well. Possibly, yeah, I think that these characters are bolder than these characters on the left and that is probably due to the 0.4 versus the 0.5. Um, and on the softness testing, actually that's where you see the most difference. So that's fascinating. Um, what do you do? Like this. You do this. So um, 
bring it up a little for all of you. So I'm talking about the softness testing here because I did the same three strokes of softness where this is really soft, really soft, a little bit of pressure, a little bit of pressure, and then a lot of pressure. And that is actually where you see most of the difference where this one is not widening out as much and this one is really has like a pronounced difference in softness. And this makes complete sense. Like it's more 21 karat nib, it's a softer nib, it's what to it's what you would expect of a larger gold nib and it's what you see um, across all brands. Like the larger the nib, usually the softer the nib is. Next up, we are going to be looking at this 1911 King of Pen with the larger 21 karat nib in a broad size. So what I'm expecting to find of this King of Pen broad nib from the findings on the King of Pen medium nib, the comparison that we just did comparing the King of Pen medium versus the regular standard 21 karat medium nib is maybe it will be a little bit wider and most importantly and most notably, it will just be very much softer if it stays consistent with the medium nib that we just did the nib and line comparison for. It's definitely a lot thicker and wetter just right off the bat. I'm noticing that right away. And it's a little bit too thick, um, very wide, thick lines, and forcing me to write a little bit larger than I normally write. So that's something that is definitely noticeable. When it's a subtle difference, you can't really notice it, but here it's very noticeable. and just testing out a little bit of the softness as I'm writing. It's definitely a very soft nib that is responsive to pressure. Um, so even just like a little bit of pressure, you can see the, the, the lines widening out and um, increased wetness, like whoa, six. do those up strokes like this down up up yeah pretty good okay and do this wetness test by coloring in this box just like we did before okay it is more wet it goes all the way up to the 20 millimeter line here Okay, 0.6 is pretty, pretty accurate. I'm gonna just try the 0.7 because I do see it, it, it could slightly be thicker than 0.6, just to see. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with 0.7 on this. Now for the softness. So the first one is just really no pressure, just letting the weight of the pen guide you. And the second one is a little bit of pressure, just as somebody who writes more heavy handed would do. And the third is like actual pressure where you see a little bit of like the tines widening out and you feel that too. And some of these figure eights, okay. So you can definitely see there's like three gradations of, of um, hardness here 
and certain pens won't give you those three gradations. They might only get so wide if it's a hard nib. So, um, seam, softness as king of pen medium. Um, thicker lines as expected. Um, noticeably oops, more wetness. Okay. That is the nib log using the King of Pen broad nib and I'm going to get my Pro Gear broad nib log that we did earlier just to hold side by side and see how these two look. Definitely thicker, broader strokes. Those characters are a lot thicker and like those, those um, letters on the page, those numbers that I've written are just bolder on the King of Pen broad nib. So I gave it, um, it, go, it went from a 0.6 on the Pro Gear broad to a 0.7 on the King of Pen broad, which makes some sense. And um, also looking at that softness again, and it is like, it is actually a wetter nib. You can see here the Pro Gear 21 karat nib um, in the broad only dragged to about 15, maybe 13 millimeters. And on the King of Pen broad, it dragged and smeared all the way to 20 millimeters. So it is wetter and it will take more time to dry, um, but not, I've had, I've had pens like drag to 40, so <laughs> it's not like out of control. Um, and then in the softness testing is really where you see, you can even see like how different like these, this writing is versus this writing. Um, and it's kind of insane to think that just one, just 0.1 millimeter makes it look so much bolder. Um, so, which goes to show like you don't need, like with fountain pens, you don't need like a much thicker nib to really get to your sweet spot. Like if you don't like a medium, you just might like a broad. You might not have to jump to double broad um, because it, it really is quite different. Um, and then if you're looking at the softness testing, just like we did before um, with the three, day gra three gradations of softness over here, you can really see the difference of softness in the King of Pen nib. So you get some subtle um, differences in softness at the, with the Pro Gear nib here on the left. Um, but once we're talking about the, uh, the King of Pen broad nib, um, those nibs are just, you really get um, different, different degrees of softness and very responsive to the pressure that you're placing on, on your nib. Because as you can see here, it doesn't widen out that much on this 21 karat nib, but on the larger 21 karat nib, it widens out a lot. And um, yeah, it's, it's interesting to see that it's very consistent going from um, Pro Gear Medium to King of Pen Medium and Pro Gear Broad to King of Pen Broad. Now we're gonna just do a little summary sheet um, which will sort of give an overview of all the different line widths that we talked about just so you can see everything on one page and have it all, all together for you. Uh, Pro Gear 21 Karat and King of Pen, 21 karat. And we are starting with the medium here. Okay. 
ini rod which we're gonna run out of room for because it's so wide. There's our summary sheet. Um, which includes a line and a little writing sample from all of the four different nib sizes that we compared today. Um, the line width of the Pro Gear 21 karat versus the um, King of Pen 21 karat were not too different. They were about 0.1 millimeter different. So you can see we went from 0.4 to 0.5 and then 0.6 to 0.7. But where the real difference is was the softness. So if you're somebody who likes to see um, different line variation in your writing, um, as you press down a little bit harder or as you just apply a little bit more pressure um, if you're feeling impassioned when you're writing or something and you like that to transfer over to the actual piece of writing that you've made then the Pro Gear King of Pen um, and the 1911 King of Pen, the King of Pen will be um, a great option for you if you like to see sort of um, a little bit more of like that dynamic energy in your writing. I think this will really transfer over if you're somebody who loves to see that. Um, th these pens would also obviously be really wonderful for showing off beautiful calligraphy, um, cursive writing, or like fountain pen inks with shading properties, sheening properties, and um, even shimmer properties. If you are so bold as to ink up shimmer in your um, gold nib fountain pens, then um, these would be absolutely stunning with some, some of those qualities of ink. And um, yeah, I was surprised to find exactly how soft these nibs were um, after writing side by side compared to the smaller 21 karat nibs on the Pro Gears. So I hope you all enjoyed this nib and line comparison featuring Sailor King of Pen. And um, let us know in the comments, like what you think of soft nibs. Like, are they something that you look for in a fountain pen? Do you like being able to see a little bit of line variation as you apply more pressure? Um, or do you really like a stiff nib, in which case the king of pen would not be a great nib for you at all? But um, yeah, I'd love to hear um, if you watch this video and you make it to the end. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.